Remember to follow safety protocols, eye protection, ear protection, and protective clothing. Remember to chalk the tires if you are going to engage the air system. When performing a quality brake inspection, the air delivery must be consistent. The Inspector 920's air delivery system ensures that the emergency air must be applied in order to activate service air. It's recommended that the shop air be regulated between 110 and 120 psi. The service air is internally regulated at 90 psi. At the beginning of an inspection, charge the emergency air system. This allows for enough time so that when the air system is inspected, it's fully charged. In meeting the recommended practices, emergency air must be applied before the service air will activate. At the axle, apply the service air for brake operation multiple times. Check to make sure all the slacks move together. Observe the brake pad movement. Cycle service air for each brake and measure the slack movement. Applying emergency air will charge the braking system and other functions such as airbags and tire inflation. Wait for the system to settle before pressing air leak. Remember your gauges have two PSI increments. Any continuous movement will indicate air loss. If emergency air shows loss, isolate the other functions, the tire inflation system or the airbags, to identify the cause. If the emergency and service air equalize or balance out, then that indicates that there's an internal air leak. This suggests a chamber or valve issue. The ideal case is that the gauges don't move and there's no air loss.